ministry. Why? Listen, it is not a difficult thing for God to step in and help men. It is within God's power to lift men. Riches and honor come from him. The influence and the power and the grace comes from him. The problem is the state of our hearts. The greatest prayer, therefore, is not even intercession for souls. The greatest prayer is not binding witches and wizards. The greatest prayer is not deliverance from enemies. The greatest prayer is the prayer that turns your heart into a throne. The throne where he can be seated. The prayer that can turn your heart into a throne is a prayer God cannot ignore. Please, Koinonia, listen to me. These are my final words to us as we prepare to wrap up the year. There are people who God loves them as Savior to all. But doing the business of destiny, it has not started until that death happens. So sometimes when people come and say, Apostle, I want an impartation, I want grace. With all, it's a privilege to be able to do the things that we do for the kingdom. But I know that I'm wasting my time. I've read books on wealth and prosperity. I've read books on church growth. I've read books on influence, territorial dominion. At a point in time, I had to appreciate the books, but I closed them. I said, Lord, there must be a secret. And that's when he told me that the price for all of me is all of you. The price for all of me is not all of your brain. The price for all of me is not all of your singing. The price for all of me is not all of your worship. The price for all of me is all of you. Is God speaking to us? All of you. All of you. All of you. Now, let me tell you this. It is not unusual for a generation to not believe you. So don't think it is strange. My loved ones don't believe me. You are not the first. It is all right. A generation does not believe me. Nothing is believable till the results speak. Please understand this. But that price of death continues to be. And you see, the thing with death is you don't die once. It's Jesus that died once. The saints die every day. Hello? Jesus died once and for all because of the character of what he was doing. The atonement. You are not dying to atone. You are dying to yield. You are dying to align. The death is part 24 hours. The moment today is gone, you start the death of tomorrow. The moment tomorrow is gone, you start the death. For every dimension of death, there is a corresponding glory. The day you are tired, God will not force you. But he will show you that don't then ask for this dimension of glory when you are not willing to continue. Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakale Yeshua Amashia Komi na na kane Komi na na kane Ya Yesu Komi na na kane Komi na na kane Yeshua Amashia Komi na na kane Yeshua Hamashiach One more time find a dead vessel and you see the possibilities that can come out show me a man who has vowed to continue to die i show you a glory that excels show me a people that continue to die our generation does not like the language of death because every time we talk of death it spells inconvenience it spells discomfort it spells going out of it means that sometimes god will strip you of everything you it's a price for the glory. No matter how much impartation 
it's a price for the glory you are not just going to lay hands on the sick and say in jesus name stand up i'm a member of koinonia you are right but let me tell you when it comes to the depth of the dealings of god generationally you will need to die generationally are you hearing what i'm saying now please listen very carefully there are people that god will give you instructions empty your account there are people God will tell you 80% of all your wealth for the next two years. Keep giving it. You say, Lord, why? He said, because you said you want to be a kingdom financier. God, I said, I, I thought I should have. He says, I want to give you a revelation of there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. You, are, you know it as a memory verse, but I'm leading you through a pathway that makes it an experience for you. Lord, I want you to anoint me. Grant me the grace that speaks across territories. And he says, you really want that? Yes, God, let's go. And you start the journey. And for starters, he says, give everything you have in your life. He said, God, I didn't hear you well. Give everything you have. Your reputation, your wealth, your everything, your clothes, your honor, give it away. That is the price. It's what he told the rich man. He said, go and sell everything you have. Follow me. The man said, no, no, no. Jesus, this one is so much authentic spiritual power does not just come by impartation alone it comes by death it comes by death lord i'm trusting god for the grace for illumination revelation but your mind is full of many things you must die to give it space and when there is space then the oil can come and the seeing eye can be given to you please listen to what i'm telling you remember my message the same Lord is rich unto all, but by certain sacrifices, men have ascended this ladder and they have given, they have branded their dealings with God so that he has been forced through their sacrifices to no longer deal with them as he deals with men. This is the hand of God and this is the way he walks. Scattered across the body of Christ, are different individuals different territories who have ascended different dimensions of ladders in the spirit and god has defined certain possibilities to them there are churches and ministries when you enter there you must prosper even before you finish learning all the laws at least you will prosper to a point where you will be surprised you will know that i have no part in this because you are now a partaker of a covenant god has vowed a vow by the sacrifices of certain people Please listen to me, brothers and sisters. When you walk with God at a general level, you will go to heaven, but you will not do much. These are not even the people Satan is looking for. Satan will come and pass you. You will call him, he will still leave you. He's looking for people. There are people he's looking for desperately. Where are these ones that want to die? Where are these ones whose life is no longer their own? Where are these people who want to experience the anointing in another dimension? Where are these ones who want the power and the grace of God? Where are these ones who want the influence of nations? There is nothing that can be done about a man who has chosen to die the last enemy to be destroyed is death and when a man has chosen to die it's over Boko Haram are a threat because of their willingness to die not to leave when you want to leave you are in trouble you are only free when you are ready to die Kane. <laughs>
I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live is a mystery. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. That whatever it will cost me to die, I will die. Not for the sake of ministry, not for the sake of money, not for the sake of titles. That prayer to search my heart, try my thought, is a powerful prayer. It's a prayer you must pray for the rest of your life in this side of God's kingdom. The heart that cries for all of God, not more of God, all of God, not more of God, all of God. He will, he will come more and more, but the goal is for all of him to be transfused into you. I'm a the secret to ministry is not invitations the secret to ministry is not a crowd it's not a church it's not eloquence and oratory the secret to ministry is not even the loyalty of men to serve you the secret is death genuine continual death I died yesterday. You are joking. You die daily. I died last week. No, sir. You die daily. You are dying today. You will die next week. A time will come when you truly will not have any life on your own. These are the ones that step their feet upon the soil of nations. And like the waters, it will pass heath and teeter. And you are wondering, are these men gods? They are men. But death translated them into another dimension. Please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. More than Bible study. More than mentorship. More than fasting. More than prayer. More than training your skills. The real secret is to die. After 30 years as Christ tarries, I will still be preaching this thing I'm saying. If you don't die, you cannot live. The way to live is to die. To die to yourself. To die to your ego. To die to your desires. It's a journey. A journey that until the day you see his face, you don't stop. I die daily. It is the price for carrying the anointing. It is the price for carrying grace. You can die to a point where it does not make any difference whether God keeps his wealth in heaven or he keeps it in your account. You have so died is the same thing. Whether the money is in your account or is in heaven, in God's mind is the same. Because any day he makes a demand, it will go. A time will come where whether the anointing is in heaven or the anointing is on your life is the same because god has guaranteed that you will die seeing to it that his purposes be established this that i share with you is the price when this is settled then that's when every other thing makes sense your prayer life your fasting even your obedience to scripture believe me when i tell you all that is nonsense when you have not died is the reason why we will keep fasting we will keep praying we will keep quoting scripture you see someone's car you go and lie down on it and say oh god please open my door and you are right it should bless you but it will not bless you because you are speaking from a platform of a decadence of heart yes you are. listen we give we give breaks in the ministry not just to allow us rest it's been a busy year for everyone but the goal is not just to rest and catch up we are giving you one month so that it will help you die well die enough to carry the glory of 2020 die enough to carry the power of 2020 die enough to carry the voice and the mantle of 2020 that lord i am dead but not dead enough to carry the next glory dead but not dead enough to carry the mantle the power dead but not dead enough to be trusted with kingdom influence at that point 
the one week now you are not going to go to god as a worker you are not going to god as apostle joshua selman you are not going to god as a leader you are going to god as one who is desirous of his use and now you can have the time to lock yourself you can have the time to stay with god and stay till you die while your flesh cries you say god don't pity it forget about the tears of my flesh keep the death going just keep the death going the death your ego say forget about my ego keep the death going ah my money forget about the money keep the death going show me that man and i show you a man to fear in this life a man that has mastered death i die daily paul said so he got to a point where he could say for me oh I don't know whether it is to go or to stay i have conquered the interface of these limitations but for your sake i will stay let me tell you my brothers and sisters you've heard me say it again there are virgin dimensions in the spirit compared to where god is taking us we are only starting and we must trust god for grace to not be complacent the secret is to turn to God and sit down and die. The applauds of men can deceive. Men can clap you and stop you from entering tomorrow. This one thing I do, the Bible says, forgetting the things that are behind. You must train yourself to forget. Both success and failure can do the same thing. It can kill you. So you lay it aside and say, Lord, what is the price for the next level? And he says, death. And he say, come like a doctor about to perform a surgery on a patient let it go let the ministration of that death continue and you are staying with god he will tell you for the next three days let no food enter your mouth there is a surgery spiritually and even the slightest meal can interrupt it and he said lord ordinarily i will want to eat but for the joy that is before me let me endure the cross and even despise the shame and in the midst of that pain suddenly you will meet an anointing you will meet a grace and god will tell you this anointing is what i'm releasing on earth for the next 15 years that means whoever does not have this type of anointing cannot be featured in my program and now that you have died enough here you go pick it up and you pick it and like like the pages of a book another dimension of you is open and whilst you think you have exhausted you will see another dimension they go from strength to strength this is my message not just to go and celebrate christmas and up and down not just to go gisting and wasting our time listen times with god are times of death now is not the time to go and be clapping for yourself in the secret place it's foolishness great men are great because they forget their crowns great men are great because they forget their trophies great men are great because they forget their achievements create an immunity in your room that does not hear let you hear the the clappings of men while they are clapping you are dying the clap increases you are still dying and the flesh tells you have you not attained enough and the spirit of god says you lie not for the mantle of a nation keep dying keep dying you will see the effulgence of the power of god in your life and men will look at you and say are you a human being or you are a spirit when you go back god will say can we continue you are back from the meeting you some of you will go home and god will give you instructions organize crusades organize little meetings and while you are doing all of those people will look at you and say at ah, this koinonia and while they are talking you want to come back to life and the spirit to say no not at this point keep dying the door to life is death the door to the throne is the cross the door to the cross then the grave you must die it is the one key i have learned in my life fear a man who dies don't fear a man who died now i beseech ye brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice unto god which is your reasonable act of worship there are times that god does not want songs no 
there are times that God does not want prayer there are times God does not even want dancing around there are times God does not want reading any Bible there are times God just wants the sacrifice of death it will rise as an incense past the second heavens where demons are demons don't need your death they cannot do anything with your death it will pass them they can't cast it they can't kill it it passes straight to the throne and is received before the master and through that death the blood that comes from your death becomes your agreement the signature you sign with God for the next five years Lord I am still available Lord don't replace me with a stone Lord I am still there you have options but incorporate me in your program are you ready to pray? Come in, I can't.